Great design is memorable. In fact, in the modern world, design has a huge role in shaping our perceptions of the world. Reputable brands understand this, and legendary brands capitalize on this. Just look at Apple. Their entire business is centered around great design. This is because, like all great designers, Steve Jobs understood that people are likely to remember a bad design just as much as a good one. And with that in mind, Steve focused on creating simple yet highly functional products. Products that looked good, but worked even better. In fact, Steve even famously said, design is not just what it looks like and feels like, design is how it works. There are plenty of things you can learn from Steve Jobs' love for design, especially when you're trying to build a flawless brand experience for your customers. Whether you're designing a website, an app, or a product, I'll break down some of these UX design best practices. Before we jump in, if you get some value out of this video, feel free to return some value with a like. And if you want to learn more about design and marketing, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Okay, let's get into it. Think like a consumer, not a UX designer. While this may seem fairly straightforward, most UX designers make the mistake of overlooking this basic principle. Before creating a website, an app, or a product, it's necessary to understand the needs of the user. What problems are you trying to solve for them? And how's your product solving this problem? This should set the tone for the rest of the design process. Keep it consistent. Building a seamless user experience involves creating a cohesive set of design across all platforms. Whether it's the colors, font, or any other element of graphic design, having visual consistency will make it easier for your user to navigate around your app or website. Clear the clutter. As a designer, it helps to remember that less is more. While you may be tempted to use tons of animations or cram a lot of images and videos in your designs, leaving space for white space can help in giving your customers some breathing room. Just like Steve Jobs' design philosophy, it's a good idea to keep your website minimal and leave plenty of white space to help viewers focus on the essential content. Cool it with the clicks. As a UX designer, it should be your primary goal to help consumers get from point A to point B using the least number of clicks or taps possible. This will minimize the time they need to get things done without creating unnecessary distractions along the way. The same rule applies to pop-up windows, which can cause users to lose their train of thought while trying to make a purchase and probably just rage quit out of your website or app. Just remember, less is more. Keep forms to the point. Listen, nobody likes filling out long forms. Instead of asking for everything under the sun, just include the relevant fields that'll help you quickly get the information you need. Again, think like a consumer and show respect for their time. The best way to design forms is to just arrange all the fields into a single column. This way, end users just need to easily scroll down through the form and fill out each field as needed. Make it accessible. If you're trying to reach a wider audience, you'll need to keep in mind the needs of all kinds of consumers and ensure that your website or app can be accessed by everyone. You're not only creating an inclusive experience for your consumers, but you'll also gain more viewers or subscribers because of it. A great way to do this is to include assistive technologies like screen readers and add zoom in features so people who are visually impaired can actually see what you're trying to tell them. Most of these features are baked into modern browsers and operating systems, but just make sure your design works with them. Test the waters. After you've implemented everything I just told you, the only way you'll be able to know whether UX design actually works is by having real people test it. Live feedback from consumers, clients, or even total strangers will give you an idea of what needs to be improved. Make sure you do this for both desktop and mobile, especially if most of your consumers are using smartphones to access your website or app. If you believe in making a great first impression, then creating top-notch UX design needs to be your top priority. So remember these UX design best practices the next time you start thinking about your next website or app design project. Think like a consumer, keep it consistent, clear the clutter, cool it with the clicks, keep forms to the point, make it accessible, and test the waters. By providing an overall positive experience for your users, you're showing them that you understand their needs while designing solutions that bring them closer to satisfying those needs. It's important to remember that the success of your business ultimately depends on the efficiency of your product, app, or website. That's why at Superside, we believe in helping brands elevate their design strategies and designing assets that offer a seamless experience for their customers so they keep coming back for more. So if you want a team of top global design talent and a dedicated project manager who understands the importance of UX design, and you want insanely fast turnaround times and flexible pricing, then go to superside.com to learn more about how we can help deliver high quality design at scale. Thanks for watching.